In this video, we will be doing a vertical motion problem. Use AFT equals negative 32 feet per second per second as acceleration due to gravity. A balloon rising vertically with a velocity of 16 feet per second releases a sandbag at the instant it is 64 feet above the ground. First thing we want to find is how many seconds after its release will the sandbag hit the ground. And then the next thing we want to find is at what velocity will it hit the ground. Now the first thing we want to do is write down what we know. We know that we need to use A of T equals negative 32. Now before I go on, let me point out that the reason this is negative is because we're up in the air and we're falling toward the ground. So our acceleration due to gravity is a negative. Also, if these measurements had been in meters, we would use acceleration due to gravity of 9.8 meters per second per second. Well, but this would be for future reference. Okay. Also, let's see. Rising vertically with a velocity of 16 feet per second. So that tells us that our velocity at time zero is 16. And then releases a handbag at the instant it is 64 feet above the ground. So that means our position at time zero is 64. Now we know if we start with acceleration, if we integrate acceleration, we'll go back to the velocity function. So I want to um, integrate both sides so that I can get my velocity function and then I'll integrate that to go back to my position function. So when I integrate a of t, my variable is t, so I need to integrate with respect to t, and then integrate on the right side, negative 32, and I'm gonna write that as t of zero and it'll be with respect to t. Okay, so the integral of a of t is v of t. And um, I know that I increase the exponent by one and divide by the new exponent. So that'll be t to the first power. So this then is negative 32 t to the first power plus C. This is my initial condition that I'm going to use. When T is 0, V of T is 16. So I'm going to plug those numbers into this um, equation. 
to get my particular solution. V of t, I'll put in a 16 for that. Uh, negative 32 times t is 0 plus my constant. So this term then, this when we multiply, we get 0 here. So that tells me that c at this point is 16. So now I can take my general solution here and put my 16 in for c, and that'll give me a particular solution So v of t equals negative 32t plus 16. All right, so now the question wants to know after how many seconds after its release will the sandbag hit the ground? So this is a position right here. Um, our position needs to be equal to zero when it hits the ground. So I need to integrate one more time to get from velocity back to my position function. So I have the integral of v of t with respect to t is equal to the integral negative 32t plus, and I'll write this as 16 to the 0 power, and I'm integrating with respect to t. So when we integrate our velocity function, we get our position function, which is s of t. Increase our exponent here to 2 and then divide by the new exponent. So this is a negative 32t squared divided by 2 plus and increase this exponent to 1, divide by 1. So this is 16t plus my constant. I can simplify here s of t equal to a negative 16t squared plus 16t plus a constant. Now this is my general solution, so I need to use um, these initial conditions. This one tells me when t is 0, S of t equals 64. So I can plug these values into my uh, general solution. S of t is 64. Negative 16 times, and then t is 0. So 0 squared plus 16 times 0 plus my constant. When I multiply these out, these terms go away and I get c equals 64 in this case. So now I can substitute this value into my general solution to get a particular solution. So I have s of t equals negative 16t squared plus 16t plus 64. So what do we have? Um, this is my position function. I'm going to use that for part A. And uh, part B, at what velocity will it hit the ground? So I need my velocity function, which is right here. I'm going to use that for B. I need to keep those handy. 
can get lost in all this calculus. All right, so let's solve our problem. Part A, um, how many seconds after its release will the sandbag hit the ground? So it hits the ground. when our position function is equal to zero. And we're going to look for t because we want to know how many seconds. So zero, right here for s of t, zero equals negative 16t squared plus 16t plus 64. Um, we can use these numbers in our quadratic formula. I'm going to divide through by a negative 16. Get this simplified a little bit. So now my equation is 0 equals t squared minus t minus 4. So solve this with the quadratic formula. t equals a negative b over 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared, so 1 minus 4 times 1 times c, which is negative 4, all over 2a. So that'll be 2. So t is equal to 1 plus or minus this square root of 17 over 2. So this is my answer. One plus the square root of 17 divided by two. So we have time is approximately 2.56. I'm going to save that in alpha A. Make a little note here. And then um, change this to a minus. See if it's usable. That's a negative time value, so I won't be using that. Uh, let me write it down though, negative 1.56, I won't be using that. So basically this is saying a little more than uh, two and a half seconds after the sandbag is released, it'll hit the ground. Now, part B, at what velocity will it hit the ground? Well, I know the time when it hits the ground, so I need to use this velocity equation with my 2.56 seconds in here, but I'll use the value that I stored. So for part B, I want to find v of 1 plus root 17 over 2. And we know that our velocity 
equation is, let me copy that down, negative 32t plus 16. So I'm going to put my 2.56 in here. for t and I saved it in my calculator as alpha a so I'll be using that to get an accurate answer so uh, negative 32 times alpha a plus 16. Negative negative 65 and then the velocity is feet per second 